we are talking about the future of delivery. And with me is Caroline Motoko, who is the general manager for Glovo. And we are talking about how you can make sure that at least you improve your uh, delivery business if you're doing delivery in your company or you'd want to get into this field. And Caroline, let us, let us continue with this conversation and even look at how easy is it for um, a company that wants to get into the delivery um, side of business? How easy is it or what are some of the requirements that a company needs or an individual needs in order to, for them to get to this market? Sure, I think there are two sides to the, I mean, there are two sides to the business, right? One is e-commerce, which is being able to sell online mm -hmm. and being able to match with um, consumers who are looking for your product. And then the other side is actually being able to deliver, right? Mm -hmm. Because you could still sell online and then someone comes to pick it up. So let's start with the e-commerce side. Yes. The e-commerce side, there are a couple of ways to do it. Of course, there is, you know, partnering with um, platforms the likes of Glovo, which already have established clientele um, and through you know, our platforms, you, know, we are, you are able to be positioned, we are able to send communications to our customers to say, this partner is now with us, they're running these promos or they have these offers. So there's that one route and which we've seen a lot of, you know, big and small uh, partners prefer. Then there's the other one, which, which doesn't involve, you know, the partner or the, we call them partners, uh, doesn't involve the business actually setting up its own platform. And mm -hmm. when you think about it, is the Instagram market and the Facebook market and the WhatsApp market. Um, and we've seen a lot of, you know, businesses uh, on start pages and they have thousands and thousands of, of followers that they're able to reach through that as well. Mm -hmm. And then uh, there is building your own platform, right? And based on how many platforms, big and successful platforms exist in Kenya, it's clear that it's actually not you know, such an easy thing to do because you need the tech talent, you need to put your strategy together, you need to understand like, how do you support the platform once it's up, you need the, you know, you need the capital outlay to do it. Um, I think up until now, it was easy to you know, when you have a startup to raise funding, but then the markets have taken a turn and they're becoming more stringent uh, with, with startups than before. However, with a good value proposition that someone can put in front of investors solving an actual need, there's still a lot of, you know, angel investors, BE firms, uh, mm -hmm. VC firms that are willing to put money behind it. Mm -hmm. And so people or businesses are able to develop their own platforms. And we've seen not only platforms like ours, but also grocery partners or, or supermarkets build their own or mm -hmm. restaurants build their own, but they still collaborate with Glovo, for example, mm -hmm. right? So they're, let's say all these options that someone has, right? So that's on the e-commerce platform because e-commerce, the most important thing is you as a business, are you able to match with customers, right? Can you meet them because it's like a virtual market? Are they able to buy from you? Are they able to trust your platform? So that's one side. The other side is delivery. So you have sold, how do you get the commodity or the product yes. to the customer? Yes. Right? Again, you can have all under one roof <laughs> through the plat uh, a platform like Glovo mm -hmm. where, you know, uh, a customer comes online, they purchase from you, you're connected to a rider, they show you on the app, I'm picking this order. The rider is, is shown like, the most optimal way of getting to the customer. The customer is able to track the, you know, the order. They mark it, you know, delivered, right? Mm -hmm. All, you don't need to do anything. You just need to sign up, you know, um, have your images, have your descriptions, have your pricing, have your strategy on whether you'll run promos this week or next week and 20% off or one for two for one, whatever it is, right? Mm -hmm. um, however, if you decide to go I'll have my own platform, for example, as a business, then you need to figure out how you bring in the delivery, right? Which takes uh, many forms. It's like within one hour delivery, there's same day delivery or there's three days, whatever deliveries, right? And based on this, there are multiple partners you can work with that are readily available in the market. Mm. Um, I think one of the issues that we've seen with delivery is 
now customers are demanding more and more ability to track where where you know the product is that's one second is the couriers themselves for the case of couriers which is which is the kind of you know um vehicle type the boda boda that we work with the most customers are you know are look forward to be able to track right uh, and the courier is looking to know what's the fastest way to get there because they don't want to spend the whole day doing that right so it's pairing up with either courier or shipment companies that are able to deliver in other instances is having you know um an a partner from a delivery point that can actually store your goods in good condition then be able to do the last mile delivery for you right mm -hmm. so it depends on which which model of business someone is looking to to go with mm -hmm. one is very capital in, inten, in, in, uh, intensive the other one is very capital light okay yeah now let's move on to another issue yeah um because when you talk about um delivery yeah. and we are today we're looking at the future of delivery and we cannot go without mentioning about logistics because um, many a times when you deliver of course you have to use transport you have to use uh, vehicles or uh, motorbikes how do you vet um, these people how do you make sure that this person is the right person to do this and they're not going to run away with the <laughs> with the uh, products of uh, of customers okay um, so how do we vet them? Mm -hmm. um, so as they come in, we check if they have all the licenses, right? So is it someone who is well known by the authorities? Do they have all the required documents to work with us? And then the second thing is we actually, they go through trainings. Um, so they're trained on things like customer etiquette, you know, using the apps, um, how to talk to customers. And even after they join, there are continuous trainings on how to behave, right? Or how, how to meet customer expectation or partner or restaurant or grocery partner expectations. Um, the other thing which is very interesting, so as I mentioned, we have our center of excellence here, 70, 80 people, you know, who support English speaking Africa and also other countries outside yes. of Africa. When you go into some of these, you know, offices, what you'll see is two screens, right? We, we're actually able to monitor where the orders are where the courier is, if they are not moving, if you know they have an issue, it's you know very beautiful and very uh, interesting to see. At least for me, when I saw it the first time, mm -hmm. like you, if you if you select one to see Nairobi, you can see the distribution of all the couriers, where they are, where the orders are, and are they moving towards that right? Mm -hmm. um, and then the 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 customer also is able to do that in the event, and it does happen once in a while, not that much. And in the event, let's say the courier, for whatever reason, disappears in quotes with the order, we compensate the, you know, the customer, and they're able to place another another order immediately. Mm -hmm. But through trainings, these inc uh, incidences are really, really reducing. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right, our time is almost up, and uh, yeah. now let us look at the future of uh, the delivery in business. What are some of the areas that we can tap into? as a nation, as people who thrive in business, and also uh, SMEs, we have SMEs, we have, where can we tap into for us to make sure that delivery is now an easy thing to do? Yeah. Um, we have a generation that believes in fast, affordable, convenient, right? And that's the, the direction that the whole market is moving to. I think previously, it was okay to have your physical store and not have any digital or online presence. Mm -hmm. Now that is a thing of the past, regardless of what you're selling. So it's, I think it's to tap into the fact, and to tap into the, into the fact that we understand that the customers, as you mentioned earlier, through all the products that they're looking to get, there are customers who have already moved online and the numbers will continue to only increase. Mm -hmm. right? The market will continue to increase. So it's, it's, for example, I'll give you uh, what we do within Glover, right? We started off delivering food, right? That was our core business, but it's becoming multi-category. Being able, if you're a platform, being able to deliver almost anything, right? Okay. So groceries, Mother's Day was on Sunday, so flowers, gifts, beauty products, uh, over-the-counter pharmacies, and we partner with all, all these uh, kind of partners so that they can be able to access um, the customers. 
now we are seeing a lot more happening like fashion um, also coming online. So I think it's not shying away uh, from having your product online and actually testing the market so that as the, you know, the e-commerce and delivery business grows, you're growing together with it mm -hmm. and taking the lessons that it has to offer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. And your parting shots, even as we close, um, what would you like to encourage someone who wants to get into uh, the e-commerce platform? Uh, get into the, uh, try it. It's, this is more than the opportune time to actually do it. Um, you know, it's better to get into the field when uh, the market is start, just starting to grow. Yes. Right. So try the come partner with us at Glovo. Right. Uh, very transparent ways of partnering with with restaurants, uh, grocery partners, and then you have everything under one roof. Mm -hmm. All you need to do is ensure that you have your product. They're always there. Great customer service, and yeah, you get connected to customers. All right, thank you right. so much. Uh, that is uh, Caroline Mutuku, who is the general manager for Glovo, talking to us about um, the e-commerce platform and the future of this. And if you are a young person.